Alright, so we're checking out the only game that teaches you exactly what it's like to become explosive diarrhea. It's Turbo Dismount. <laughs> there was a time in Turbo Dismount where I had thought I was playing the hardest, stupidest level that there is. I was wrong. This is now it. In case you're wondering, the challenge here is to get through the light speed vehicles, uh, slide down the bowels here, then go through the churning diarrhea maker, and then get pooped into the sludge below without losing a limb. Now, if I just sit here, you'll get an opportunity to see how ridiculous this entire challenge is. But regardless of how stupid something is, we still have to do it till we get it. I'm bringing out the big guns. I'm going straight for the shopping cart. It's manual steering enabled. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so the plan here is, is it looks like there's a pocket behind these like 30 initial lines of cars. If I fall there, it's probably possible I can get down here without losing a body part if I can even fly that far inside of the shopping cart. We're ab Way to go. Oh, starting the episode off with a bang. I might not even be able to do this. Oh, I can possibly get through this pocket. Oh, yeah. Okay, I made it, you know, about five cars in. I'm already a few passes in and I'm already starting to understand what a bad idea it was downloading this level. Not losing a limb might as well just say, don't get touched. Oh, Damn it! If I can make it past the cars, I'm almost sure I can make it past all of the wind turbines. Okay, we're gonna approach this a little bit different. There are these two slices over here. I'm gonna see if I can get past some of the cars by like slowly going down this. Oh, well, that was a bust. I guess I'm facing my fears head on. It's so slippery, the sweet scent of Taco Bell. All right, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll come back to the shopping cart, but I got to give the cool streak a shot just because usually it doesn't disappoint me. It, never mind, it completely disappointed me. I felt like it did so good in the beginning and then I realized that it scored 10th out of a class of 10. All right, hold on. Usually if I kind of like yeet myself sideways, there we go. I think I may have actually gotten penetrated harder doing it that way. Ping lightning, why not? I'm starting to lose my mind and think that this is probably completely impossible. I'm willing to try damn near anything at this point. Oh, I'm the mint, never mind. All that and all I lost was an arm. Oh, and a foot. Don't be a bit, Nicholas, you weren't using that foot anyway. All right, maybe if I go all the way around like this. Here we go, there. Ricochet off the wall. Okay, I haven't broken anything yet. Now I've broken some things. Actually, I've broken pretty much everything. I'm not gonna lie, it has been very, very easy to pass Nicholas Stones whenever I need a go-to. The boss throne is typically it. A winner among winners. A champion. A device which doesn't know defeat or failure. Wow, it failed. Pretty much right away. I hyped up the boss throne and then it failed in its mission. It's like how everyone told me how valuable college was. That's perfect. <gasps> no. I just wanted to see the very moment where everything suddenly went wrong. It was right there. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is an illegal football tackle. I like how all that happened and it was like, you broke your leg. I just realized too that Nicholas is sitting with the bar of the shopping cart lodged right up his ass cleft. If you're not gonna sit the most uncomfortable way possible, it doesn't count. All right, I have all my, oh my God, I have all my limbs. I'm gonna do it. Yes, screw you game. <laughs> and the, even the, even the bombs couldn't take my limbs away from me. Now, if you listen closely, you'll actually get to hear the exact moment that Nicholas's soul yeets itself from his body. Wait for it, wait for it. Right here, look at this. It is gloriously incredible. This was surprisingly easier than I had anticipated. Gets through not just one, but both the wind turbines with only a broken wrist to show. We've done one loop. We've done two loops, but prepare your anus for the tri loop. So what you have to do here, you have to make it through all three loops, dodging the trains, and then on top of that, 
you have to make it through four lanes of Frogger. Easy. Now, realistically, this shouldn't be that hard. If I manage to do this with this... Damn it! I was gonna say, if I manage to do this with the scooter, that's like 12 extra points to Gryffindor. Do I get any obstacles? Holy Jesus, I do. All the turbo pads. Since you let me down last time, we're gonna win this time. Okay, and by we, I mean just the bike. Or not. I never get more disappointed than when I have to sit on one of these things normally. Okay, there we go. First loop. Second loop. This could be it. Like, third try. And there you, as long as I don't hit it on the way down, have it. It almost got all the way. God damn it. Okay, maybe speed is the key here. Oh, yeah. Oh, the shuriken. It's finally going to win something. It's finally going to win something. Oh, my God. No! This is 100% possible. Go, Nick. Yes. No. Okay. Uh-huh. I somehow cracked my skull. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Okay. Getting past the Frogger lanes is the part that's going to be a pain in my ass in the world of Turbo Dismount. <laughs> Only the strong survive. It's yeet or be yeeted. Okay. Yes. Good. Now get past the damn lanes. Okay, new plan. I need something tougher. I don't actually know if this thing can do full loops, but at this point, I'm willing to give it a try. Jesus. The answer is no. If we're going for speed, we have to use the fighter. <laughs> Which disintegrates like a third grade paper mache project on impact. Okay, let's try that, but with less fail this time. Holy shit! Does that count? Technically, the fuselage went flying <laughs> through the different loops. The screamer performed way better than I thought, too. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Did it make it all the way to the end? It totally did! The screamer made it through! The car, the person, and everything! Oh, it's like glitching itself inside of the wall. I need to see what the hell happened here. The screamer had disappointed me for so long that I forgot it could actually achieve anything until this and the last episode. It goes in and does the impossible. Look at this. Just shaving slightly gets all the way through and makes it to the end. And Nicholas's entire spine compresses in upon itself and he's paralyzed for life. He's like, yay, no more turbo dismount. Oh, you're still doing turbo dismount. Welcome to you shall not pass. So the idea here is not only do you have to make it past this ring of vehicles, but you have to make it past the phallic penetrators going both long ways and horizontally to get to the ramp in the end. Do I get obstacles? Thank you, Jesus. Now, typically, if you just try and go over the stuff, it'll usually run into the trains that are falling from the sky like that. However, I 100% know how to beat boards like this at this point. A nice twisty one. Testicular torsion! Ow, I was wrong. Now it's also possible that my battle cry screwed that up. All right, I'm gonna try these slowly undulating ramps. Yeah, it didn't work any better. Okay, suddenly this level just got 100 times more difficult. There has to be something, a vehicle I can use to curve off and not have to deal with this. Although, usually just blasting my way through everything works. Rambo this bit. Yes. All right. That failed a lot more spectacularly than I was hoping. Three strikes and you're out. This is attempt number two. Maybe we'll do better this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I think the worst thing about the tank is, like, it can get rammed a lot before it finally gives up. This is not going to work. All right, quad fin. If, if, if this doesn't work, Nick, I'm putting you on the... Okay. He's like, wait, finish your sentence. You knew it was going to happen. Get your balls up there. See, we need some rearward stabilization. Um, <laughs> I was going to say he's still a one piece. Oh, God. Part of his body parts left the entire board. Look at him, he's like, ah, great, I'm the one that got away. Ah, ha, ha. And then turbo dismount is like, silence. Mm. Nothing like a fresh coat of blood to oil up the treads of the bulldozer. Okay, new plan. Turbo pad into a ramp. If I just have to shoot one of these. I mean, my body's still alive. Okay, maybe a slightly limper ramp. There we go. 
I think I can make this work. Just don't look, Nick. It's gonna be fine. I lied. I will beat this challenge. Oh, yes. The shots are perfect. Does that technically count? Like, did it stop him before it reached the back wall? Hold on, I'm gonna get there all the way. At least now I know it's 100% possible. We can totally do this and reach the back wall. Hold on. There it is. This is perfect. Got it. And now to finish things off, I present to you the most ridiculous challenge that there is. Snow plow hell. You have to go descending through hell, not hitting a single snow plow. How many levels of snow plows? It just keeps going. There's all the levels of snow plows. I'm still going to the ground. They're all in just different patterns too. No place is safe. Before we start, I, I need kind of like a, just a general overtone of how ridiculous this really is. So I guess we'll start with the cool streak just to kind of see. Now we can't get touched by any of these. So, okay, made it past the first one. And the second one evaporated our entire body. This is gonna be a pain in my ass. Usually when that doesn't work, the next thing I plan to do is just go as slow as possible. Maybe we'll have a slightly better, we're right in path to get obliterated. Come on, baby, just fall to, mm. You know, we only hit one car on the way down. This is totally possible. Okay, so I, I just, I just need to see if like a regular car is even viable to do this in. I mean, it's looking pretty good so far. So I feel, did I land on the freaking hood of one of the vehicles? I didn't get hit by the light speed car. I landed on it. How the hell? I landed on a freaking car on my way down to the ground too. I need to see something real quick. I had to know if this was as stupid as it looked. It was. I landed on the windshield of a car. Oh, and I broke my wee wee bone. I mean, you never know, right? The shuriken could do it. Well, I already got ripped in half, so this is a failed, this is a failed run. I'll probably make it to the ground too. You nope. bastard. Oh, never mind. Okay, good. I don't feel as bad. The problem here is the damn thing goes so freaking fast. I gotta try and dump the bike before I hit the back wall and get ripped in twain. Urgh. That looks good. Oh, that's a nosedive too. We're gonna get extra speed here. Speed doesn't do sh apparently. Oh, pink lightning. Your adorable pastel color scheme will protect you from all harm. Although I just lost the tricycle, so I guess my protection is effectively gone now. Oh, I made it through. This is a winner. It's a winner. It is a failure. Nick is like, way to take away my dreams. This thing got the closest. I actually have to try it again because it is totally possible that we can do it with this. I feel like that run we were, we were stolen there. If I go out in like an angle, like this little pie slice, I feel like I have the best oppor- The best opportunity. It's not until you're falling that you really realize how many layers of hell you have to get past. Okay, when I said an angle, let's try an angle that sucks a little bit less. The problem is these damn barricades. Are these things like heat seeking or something? It constantly feels like I'm always in the middle of the, the toilet bowl. The flushing area of death and souls. God, all that's left is a piece of tofu. Nicholas Rage Tofu. Skateboard your ass down there like Tony. Skate your wobbly ass's way to victory. This is it. Look at this. I just did like a freaking triple axle. I can finally be a winner. I don't think I technically touched that car. Ugh. Don't suppose I can call that just a glancing blow, can I? I'm doing this until I beat this stage. I don't care how many times it takes. I'm willing to sacrifice Nick as much as possible. He's like, thanks, buddy. And sideways yeet. This could be it. This could be the glory I was, this is not the glory I was looking for. It almost spat me back out where I came from. Boss throne, give me manual steering. I can do this. If it's a challenge where I have to get to hell, there's basically no way I can fail. The devil's like, oh, great. Using up all your travel points this month? <gasps> yes. You no. Know. <laughs> I mean, yes, I am using up my travel points, but no, I feel really sad that I got hit. Nicholas, you know what to do. I call this stance the Screaming Eagle. Here. Okay, all right, looking pretty strong. Yes, this is it. This is the win. Oh my God, I'm gonna do it. Yes! Let us give a moment of praise 
to the screaming eagle as it comes really close to getting extinct. Look at how many different cars could have destroyed our entire career, but somehow Nick manages to dodge every single one. He's gonna catch a cold from how close most of those came. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Happy Wheels. Till the next time. Uh, say fuck, say much love.